What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So I'm talking about Chucky Season 3 in this video here today. So as that little idiot teased us yesterday and dropped nothing, he did deliver today because the teaser for Chucky Season 3 arrived online not too long ago, about an hour ago by the time you've heard this video. And the teaser confirmed something that we were told was not going to happen, but great misdirect by you guys because I was pretty convinced he wasn't going to be back. But the teaser kicked off with Devin Sawa confirmed back. This time he's portraying the president of the United United States and he seems to be at the start of this trailer we're just recapping it for a bit reading a letter of sorts that he's received throughout this teaser we hear the star spangled banner instrumental but in like this very eerie fashion which I thought was a nice touch we get a shot of the White House letting us know that that is going to be the setting so we'll be at the Oval Office Saw is then shown taking or talking to his son named Henry which is a character name I did bring up in the past from the audition tapes of season three that I discovered uh not on my own shout out to you you know who you are you helped me find them Henry asked his dad if he can stay in today to show his new friend to the end Chucky around the Oval Office Sawa's president character agrees and we get a shot of Chucky sitting next to Henry at the table shots of Sawa being cautious of Chucky's presence in the White House are shown we see a woman telling the president a letter opener is missing and so is Henry's dog so they then have shots of the Star Spangled Banner still playing but the woman who was talking about the letter opener is seemingly still looking for the letter opener and what I can only assume is also looking for Chucky as well. The trailer ends with the words, every kill counts, a nod to every vote counting during an election. Chucky kills the lady who was looking for the letter opener with the exact letter opener that I, that was missing, I can only assume, or it looks like he kills her. Uh, she might have, she probably survived, you know how they could always do another misdirect. We hear Brad Dorf's classic evil laugh and then Chucky says, God bless America. Now, since Henry ended up being a legitimate name, not just a code, here's a list of characters you can expect to see in Chucky season three. Now, I will say that again, some of these could still be code. You can expect, though, like we just had confirmed, Henry, James, Grace, someone named Teddy. Now, I will say with Teddy, I think Teddy could be one of the three, one of the trio either Lexi, Devin, or Jake. I think one of the trio, for whatever reason, have ended up in the White House, but we'll see why if that's the case. It seems like a bit of a reach. I would say this also about Devin Sawa's comeback. As much as I love Devin Sawa as an actor, this show bringing him back once again seems like, okay, You the, the season again, don't get me wrong, the season can still be fantastic, but that's still just a thing where it's like, okay, no, is no one going to it's a it's a running gag at this point that I think has run its course. I think it's a running gag that's run its course is what I basically am trying to get at. These these aren't anthology seasons by any means. They're not anthology seasons. I think Devin Sawa should honestly stop returning, especially if he has the same fate in this season that he's had in the last two seasons. I think it's time to stop this gag. But I digress. It looks great. It looks like it's going to have a lot of tension. I do hope that this somehow can be better than the first two seasons because we know Don Mancini has talked about going back to the or wanted to do something scarier this time around so i would hope we see them dial back on the comedy and if the comedy is present it can just be those classic one-liner moments from chucky like what we see at the end of the teaser god bless america stuff like that but i want to see some cool stalking sequences some some cool sequences of tension building and the concept of what they're doing here in the oval office because also in the audition tape you hear these bits of dialogue about america runs on secrets not duncan maybe chucky and the fact that they're so ignorant to him being alive is going to lead to Chucky using what he's hearing around this White House to his advantage in order to take over America. That could that could be executed in a way that is very terrifying, especially for people out there who like to theorize that we as a nation already are built and content with living off the secrets that we hold near and dear and keep away from the public, that being our government. But I digress there, too. This teaser, I thought, looked great. It's supposed to come out on October 4th. That's when the first episode will release. Weekly releases seems to still be the format. We know that the next day after they air, they'll be available on Peacock. And we're only going to get four episodes this time around. I do want to give clarity on my last video from last night where I was talking about Chucky Season 3. You're only getting four episodes for now. I do not know 
if or when they will be able to finish filming season three because season three was not supposed to be four episodes we know that for a fact so if these strikes are able to be resolved sooner rather than later i would see them finishing season three and releasing the second half next year although next year would have been the time i would assume we would have gotten a season four if season three ends up being a success with the four episodes that are dropping because if season four's first half isn't a success they could very well still allow them to finish shooting the rest of season three, and it could be the last season of the series before Don Mancini inevitably jumps back to the film franchise. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. What did you think about the teaser? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I will have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.